Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and I wanted to do a quick video here on the channel talking about this Raid Shadow Legends guaranteed event right here for Wyronon the Silken and give you as much context as possible so that you can make the most informed decision for your account in terms of if you should pull or not. So what we're going to do is talk about my thoughts and then also go over what some of the people over in the YouTube scene are saying in terms of voting and then their opinions as well so that you can soak all that up and decide if you want to pull the 40 ancients for the guaranteed why we're not event going on let's get into it Alrighty, now first of all, for a little bit of context here, I've got some of the previous events pulled up and 40 Ancient Shards for a guaranteed epic is pretty par for the course. I believe all of them have been 40. There might have been one for a different price, like 30 or something at some point that I'm not seeing here. But you can see that we've got one for 40 right here. Uh, Geomancer for 40 back in July of 2021, and that was a good one. So yeah, the 40 Ancient Shards about the going rate for a guaranteed epic event so far from what we've seen from Polarium. And also quick tip when you are trying to pull up champions from this like event type portal area, the annoying thing is that it loads the level one version. So you won't see the full base stats and the full ascended abilities and everything. So make sure when you are viewing a champion that you don't look at the level one version, you want to go and back out into the index and actually pull them up here in their faction so that you can see the actual full level 60 fully ascended version of the champion. And as you can see right there, the base stats and the abilities are a lot different. I believe that they don't have the aura until they're ascended. So yeah, you get the base stats there, the four abilities with the aura. But if we back out and we click on the portal right here, yeah, you're not seeing the aura. So you can get a different picture of the champion based on how you view them. I've been giving them this feedback for years and hopefully they change it at some point where we can see the full version or at least tab between the two. Like there should be a tab up top here. Do you want to see the starting version or the fully built version? But anyway, I digress. Uh, the quick version, if you didn't watch our video yesterday talking about the full discussion of Wyronon, I'll give you the quick breakdown. Wyronon is kind of a early to mid game progression type of support champion that can do consistent attack suppression on the A1, which is going to be great for boss fights and faction wars and stuff like that. And then also has a really good kit for doing faction wars. This champion was obviously designed for helping players progress in that new Sylvan Watchers faction crit because you're getting the increased speed, the term meter fill, and then also a revive and some heals, which is going to help you make sure you're getting three stars on that content so you can progress your faction wars map. And then you also get the ally speed and faction crypt. So a pretty decent support, definitely an above average epic. So then when we did some polling here on the channel, we could see here that we've got a 94 to six ratio over here on the right when asked if people are going to be pulling the 40 ancient shards to go for Wyronon, we've got the 6% shard pull rate. And I would say that's pretty much expected. There isn't too much of an outlier there. When I talked about the event in yesterday's news wrap up video, I said for 90 something percent of players out there, this is probably going to be something you want to skip because you're not syncing up with a 2X ancient shard event. You're not syncing up with a fusion or fragment type of pursuit in order to add a legendary to your account. So you're really not double dipping a whole lot, which means the Epic is going to have to be insanely good, like a GM answer or something for me, for me recommend that the majority of players rush out and pull the shards if they don't have that champion yet but let's also read what some of you out there are saying and we'll see if i agree or disagree here uh so i use her in faction wars solid enough uh for faction wars and the event would only be worthwhile for someone without many sylvan options 100 agree right there good take uh look like tons of people already have her i have a zero sylvan washer legos and no resers so i need her for faction wars that's a good point if you don't have any sylvan washer legendary or reser then this champion would have a lot more value because you would probably need her unless you have a really good account with really solid gear you're probably going to need the revives and the decrease attack and some of the different things that she brings for utility in faction wars hoping to wait for a duchess or a canterfon prism event that i might buy shards uh, i would if i didn't already have her so good for faction wars okay so this person would have done it would have been part of that six percent but actually already had her on their account uh, i pulled for her and got her on my second 10 pull so it cost me 22 shards that's true. You can get the champion before the event. So it's not guaranteed to take you 40 ancient shards, but it's going to be very, very difficult. There's so many epics in the game. It's going to be really hard. This person got insanely lucky to pull her before the 40 ancients. Odds are there's a vast chance you're going to have to pull the 40 ancient shards if you're going for the Wyronon. 
I pulled her during the new fusion. I just don't have Alva. Okay, nice. Uh, no, because luckily I got Elva from the Prism Shards. That's really good pulls. If these people were getting Elva, that's uh, that's a huge grat. Already have her, but if I didn't, she would be worth it. Okay. Uh, only because I'm close to Lydia. Yeah, if you're close to Lydia, you're going to need to finish the Sylvan Watchers in order to complete the Faction Wars star map so you can add Lydia to your account, which is very impactful. Lydia is a great reward for finishing Faction Wars. I got super lucky and have Elva. Uh, only epic guarantee I would pull for is Seer. Seer is a void, so we wouldn't see an event around Ancient Shards. But Seer would be a great guaranteed event because Seer is one of those account-changing epics. If you didn't have her, I would definitely be recommending that people try to participate in a guaranteed event for her, for sure. Uh, I pulled her a few days ago. Nice, nice, nice. Tons of Legos. Okay, cool. So we're kind of getting the sentiment here of some of the reasons why the polling ends up being the way that it did. Either people already have her or they already have Lydia and she is designed to mostly help for faction wars. So some people may not need her to help them there to get that reward, or they're wanting to save their shards for a future opportunity that may be a little bit more spicy. But it is also worth noting that if you do end up pulling those 40 Ancient Shards for Wyronon, you do have a couple different Legos that are boosted up for a 10X today, and it's going to be Canrafon and Hafrock. Now, both of them are solid. They're really good attack scaling damage dealers, and I run into both of them in the live arena. I would say Canterfon's a little bit better in my opinion, especially if you have a reliable Veil support. Canterfon and Duchess are a famous duo. Obviously, Duchess is a very hard champion to acquire, but for those people that do have Duchess, Canterfon is a great DPS to sync up with her. And since she is a Sylvan Watcher, I will quickly show you the team that I plan on utilizing to blast on through the Sylvan Watcher Crypt and then get into farming stage 21. So I've got six different ones built here. I've got Oella, King Galkabar, Elva, White Dryad Naya, Mist Rider Dithy, and then also Ruella. So out of these six, it'll be some sort of blend of five champions, depending on the stage and what ends up being a little bit faster on stage 21. And then I'll keep my eye out in case an opportunity to speed up these stage 21 runs ends up being needed. But I've got White Dryad Naya here in the stun set. It's going to be great for suppression here because of her A1. She's doing those constant decrease speeds and then also proccing the stun effect here from the set. You got Elva for the revives. And then I've got a couple different options here for cranking out some DPS and utility. So I hope this helped give you a little bit of context on whether you should or shouldn't pull for Wyronon and if it makes sense for you and your account. Whenever we do guaranteed events that are happening in game, I'll make sure to do a poll over to get a few thousand votes on it and then talk about the full context so that you can make as informed a decision as possible when you're spending your shards here on your account. So I appreciate all of you. It would mean a lot to earn your sub down below if you enjoy daily Rage Shadow Legends content and I'll see you soon in the next video. Thanks. Peace.